What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today we're gonna be doing a retro review. We have a 2005 Hot Wheels Car Crusher playset and a 1998 Matchbox Scrapyard 5-pack. Both junkyard theme, and everybody loves a good junkyard. Just crushing cars, the metal, the dirt, it's all awesome. Whether you're a kid or a grown-up collector, junkyards are cool. So I'm excited to open both of these. I don't do a ton of retro stuff, and I like retro stuff, especially um, just how lackluster some of the new stuff has been and the repeats. It's nice to dive into the older stuff from time to time, and I enjoy the older stuff. You can get it usually for an affordable price. I think I paid $10 or $12 for the scrapyard set on eBay. Not bad, especially... Um, I mean, people are selling new five packs on eBay for that same price. So to get something older, that's a little more unique, adds a little character to your collection. It mixes um, some older releases in with your new stuff. I like it. I dig old stuff. I'm going to do <laughs> more of these, hopefully. So here is the first one. This is the Matchbox Scrapyard exclusive designs. You can see that very end of the century Matchbox design. Every Matchbox I had like as a kid had this kind of design on it, um, which is cool. I like these. They are all junkyard themed. They have that Matchbox like wrecking yard kind of theme to it or scrap yard, I guess. Um, so there is a wrecker. There is like a, I can't remember what they call that, a boom truck, a dump truck, a hot rod, which is kind of cool because it's like a jalopy style. And then the Dodge Dakota, which is a really nice 80s casting. I like that casting. I think they still use that up until a couple years ago in one of the Dodge or like a um, four-wheel drive line or something. But it's a really cool casting. I like it. It's got those retro Matchbox wheels on it. That's going to be fun to open. Also, I like how the back of these, um, you can look at them. The new ones don't have that, but this allows you to see everything. It's very heavy in plastic, which Matchbox is trying to get away from. So we probably won't ever see that design again, but it's cool. Um, if you want to keep these in the package, at least you can see the whole thing. Next up, the Car Crusher playset. One, I wish they would bring back, and something I wish they would do now is make more realistic style sets because Hot Wheels had such great play sets growing up um, through the 80s and 90s. They were awesome, just like this one. Totally, like you can technically hook track to it. It doesn't matter. They're really hooked on the, the track part of Hot Wheels now, um, but when they weren't, hooked so much on it, we got killer play sets. So this is one of them. Uh, the first one I believe came out in 1995. It was um, a different color array, but this one to me has the most realistic colors of any of the Car Crusher sets that they released. There you can see the very industrial gray, a little lighter gray. Uh, the fences are like real fence color. Same with the yellow machinery. I feel like that's a very realistic color. Um, where before I think the other ones I had like red fences and like a blue machine or something. It looked more toyish. This to me looks more like more on a collector's level per se, but um, I like this one. I, this is a great set. I have that 1998 set open. I bought it originally in 1998. Um, I've had it ever since and it remains one of my favorite Hot Wheels play sets. So um, we'll go ahead and let's, let's open the Car Crusher first and then we'll open the five pack and like kind of fill in the spots around the Car Crusher. So first I want to take a look at this. Look at this like early Photoshop art. So there you have the Civic, which looks like an actual real Civic. I believe it is. That's not like a drawn headlight. It looks like one they took and Photoshop because you can see right there through the window that that's not the background of the building here. Um, that's separate art. So that's whatever was in the real um, cars background. Same with the windows. They didn't Photoshop those out probably because in 2005, they really didn't have that Photoshop. Like we know now, like we have background removal on our phone back then they did not have that. So same there, that appears to be a real car that they've kind of added hot wheelsness to it. But the, what gets me is over here, they took that like old school, like I'm not even sure which hot wheel that is, but it looks terrible. They didn't cut it out. Like the, the shape they cut it out is horrible. And look at this. That is a actual sign of this same playset. It's like the same style graphic in the like in the sign for the building, and it is so pixelated. And then they laid that Hot Wheels logo on top of it. It's just it's so terrible. <laughs> like at least when we open up the Mac, like the action driver set, the Matchbox stuff, they have such realistic stickers out. Everything looks so good. Like this is peak like early two thousands vibe for sure. So there is the. the um, date 2005 Mattel with that retro hot wheels.com, which actually I really like that logo. I think that logo is pretty good. Um, and I don't, I don't hate this logo of this time. It's like the more modern, like cut off shape. Um, I like it. So this set cost around $30, I think on eBay. 
uh, shipped, which isn't, it's kind of big. As you can see, it's big as a five pack, but it's kind of skinny. Um, but it did cost a little bit to ship. The first release with the red fences or whatever color, uh, that one can go for $50. So, uh, not the cheapest, but if you're going to spend, uh, money on sets you actually like, get a retro one. They're cool. They, they have character. Like I said, not everyone will have this. I mean, anyone can go to the store and buy a new one. Um, but not everyone will have this older set. So there it is pretty simple. Put the box back here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. I like this. Like looks pretty realistic. Got the uh, V8 engine powering the, uh, like the hydraulic Ram. This is a cool set. I don't know if you've ever seen this set before. Um, but if you haven't, I'm happy to be sharing it with you because it's really cool assembled. So this is the top part where you actually load the car in. The car goes down here and it actually goes into a little whoop, trap door down here like this. And then um, when you press this, like when you press this eject, like when you put the car in, it actually pops out a little um, like cubed car, like a squashed car, which is awesome. So there's one of them. Um, I probably didn't explain that very well, but we'll go over it again. So there's the top part. Pretty simple. It's nice quality. Again, it's on par with the, the toys of today. I think this is a nice set. It's got good quality. Um, it's, it's pliable. And this is what, almost 20 years old at this point. And it looks brand new. I mean, I know that's obvious because it is brand new, but it, like if you just opened up a set today and it had this piece in it, I could, I could believe it's from today. I mean, the, the plastic hasn't warped. It's not cracking. It's not discolored. Um, so it's aged well, which is nice. So here is the base. I love this. It has like a dirty looking base, um, tire marks. You have the car parts, you have the hot wheels, five spoke there. Uh, you have some exhaust, some rocks, just all kinds of stuff. Steering wheel. Uh, there's a rear end with part of a drive shaft and I think the rest of the drive shaft it just looks really cool this is back when I feel like they did such good realistic detail on Hot Wheels sets um now the detail is good but it's not realistic it's like octopuses and spiders um like look at even just like the brickwork um the detailing all around like it just looks realistic it's so cool it's in it's not in like a pink or a green it's in a realistic color so I'm I'm kind of pumped about that and I think technically you can put a track connector in there if you want. They don't advertise that this is being like a track style set where they do now. Um, so that's one of the big reasons why uh, we see a lot of the like the childish sets from now. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and open this. So I just want to see all the parts. What is this? Oh, that's just a... Okay. So here is the uh, crane. Look at that. 20 years old. Still works great. I know it's brand new, but I'm just saying. There's the sign. There's the actual grabber claw. It's cool to be the first one to like open this kind of stuff. So here are the cubed cars, which is super cool. I know they have a hollow, like they've been cast like that, but um, they're cool. Like kind of like if you've ever seen the Stephen King movie, Christine, which I'm a big fan of any car movie. Um, it's like the block, like the crushed car block at the end of that. So I believe they are the same, right? Let's see if they are. Yeah, they look to be the same. So if we turn them that way, yeah, but they have good detail on them. The rear ends, the wheels, it's basically the same, some of the same detail that's on the base there, but it's cool that they even included this. So there you go. Get your um, like track connector ish piece, your little entryway. Um, you have your, what is this? Your hydraulic ram that goes on the top of the crusher. You have your fence. Again, realistic color. Look at the detail. Very nicely detailed. This is 20 years old. Actually, it's over 20 years old. It's what, 20, I'm trying to think. It, re it first came out in 98. I'm just talking like when it was designed. So it's what, 26 years old, 27 years old probably. Um, another connector, another fence. And let's look at the instructions. So there, look at that Hot Wheels logo. That's sick. Okay. So there, it's pretty detailed. And we have the stickers. Ah, look at that. So that is 20-year-old stickers. So let's look at this sign. That looks so much better than it did on the box. Like, the box looked terrible, but this actually looks pretty good. Um, it's still pixelated and kind of graphic-y, and I'm not sure why they included a picture of what you're put like why is there a picture of the set on the set i i don't know that'd be like putting a sign outside of mcdonald's with the mcdonald's building on it like i i just don't understand i don't know 
But here's some of the graphics. Very cartoony. It looks a little realistic, but it's more on the cartoony side. Um, there's some like small detail. So if you've never seen this set or have this set, this is what it um, originally looked like. The warning signs. Good colors though. It feels nice. It's not bent. Again, this spent I don't even know where this came from. I got it off eBay, so I don't know if it just sat on a shelf or if it was in boxes, moved around garages, like all of my junk probably was. Um, but it, it looks good. 20 years in a package, and it looks brand new. I mean, it's not aged. The stickers aren't peeling, which is good news. That hopefully means they will stick on the set because that could be a problem. Um, so let's see. This one is actually, I don't know if they all are, but this one, as you can see, has um, multilingual language on the box. So this might be the international version because I don't remember seeing that on the um, 98 one that I opened, but this one is definitely in a couple different languages. So let's go ahead and build this sucker. Or actually, let me go ahead and put the stickers on and then we can start building. That way I don't mess anything. Okay, real quick, I will show you um, taking one off and applying it, just a simple... Um, fence one that way you can actually see the 25 year old or 20 year old decal or sticker so this is 16 right yep so let's go ahead and peel this off and see what it looks like I mean it peeled well it's very sticky let's see should I do this right Look at that. I mean, it looks brand new. Like, it looks like it could be a modern set. The stick worked well. It was still sticky. It's not peeling. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So let me go ahead and put the rest on, and then I'll be right back. All right. I did all the stickers. One thing I will say is they were sticky. Um, this one in particular, these longer ones with the very pointed tips, uh, they were a little bit harder to get off because they did seem to be... Uh, adhered to the pa paper quite well so the only hiccup i really had was a little bit of separation on that one um right there on the edge as you can see it's a little popped up there but everything else came off okay but i will say some of these are rather difficult like this one that goes inside um it doesn't really come out so you have to kind of do it well that part is inside there um that one's not bad but a couple on the base here uh, uh particularly this one right here is kind of it was very hard to put on um i put it on probably twice um took it off put it back on i'm like uh the position so i got it in there it uh, looks okay it uh, looks pretty straight these weren't too bad um the rest weren't too bad so other than that little one and then kind of a couple ones that were spaced like this one right here wrapped around which i thought was interesting because this is kind of like hidden behind stuff but it's cool they even thought to do that and put decals or uh, stickers on the other side so not too bad uh, overall. There was some difficult ones, but I didn't have a lot of issues with 20-year-old stickers, which is nice. So, okay, step one. So here's the instruction sheet. If you happen to have the set and need the instructions, I will slowly pan over them here so you can look at them and then uh, assemble your set if your set, the one you have, um, doesn't have instructions or if you have a sticker sheet you need to put on or anything like that. So hopefully that helps some... Uh, Everyone in the future, 100 years from now, trying to put this together, hopefully that will help. So let's go ahead and assemble this. So the first step, putting this on this one right here. So this snaps on. Let me make sure I do this right. Even though the last time I did this was 1998. That's insane. <laughs> That's, never did I think in 2024 would I be doing this exact same set on my phone for a computer video. Like, that's just... It didn't even, that didn't even exist back then, which is crazy. So, okay, so I think that's the first step. Um, let's see. Oh, the second step is to actually put it in the base. So these um, snap together with like typical Hot Wheels style hinges of the day. Um, they are press in or like notched. So you press this past um, the opening and then it snaps into place. So let's go ahead and give that, actually, I'm going to put this one back and give that a shot here. Uh, oh, make sure I have everything in place over here. It's kind of loud. Okay. 
Not too bad for being in a box for that long. Snapped together quite well, actually. The fitment is pretty good. You can see a little bit of light through there, but not a lot. Nice. So this is the trap door that the car falls into. So we'll go ahead and shut that one. Again, look at these colors. This set looks awesome, actually. Okay. There you can kind of see the dumping action. So next up, let's see the Mark III. Put the sign in back here. Just like that. Look at that. Going together. This doesn't have a ton of parts, so this will be pretty quick. Okay. So then this snaps into place, this little ball joint. So simple. Look at that. So then you can kind of fling this around. And this snaps into place right here, like so. Boom. Just like that. Look at that. There you go. Almost got a functioning uh, junkyard. So let's see. We've got some fences real quick. Let's go ahead and put this one together. No snap in place right there. Like that. We have what? Two pieces? What is this one? This is, I think this is a connector for a track, or does this actually go in there? Oh no, this does connect in there. So there, um, that's a little odd. I don't know why they wouldn't have just, I don't know, put it on both of these. Maybe it's uh, something I'm not thinking of at this time, but boom, there it snapped in. That's it. That is complete. Look at that. You have yourself a working car crusher slash junkyard. That's so cool. So we will take, I don't think I have any, well, actually, let's open the five pack and then we'll crush one of them. So you load the little car cubes into the loader right here, just like so. I think, can you only do one? Uh, maybe you can only do one at a time? Uh, probably. Okay. So we'll do one at a time. We'll keep this other, we'll just put this other one in the basket here. In the metal, in the bin catcher. So that's it. That looks pretty good. I don't know. Let me know what you think now that you've seen it all assembled. Um, what you think, I think that set looks great. Like if they did this and just switch out the sign for an action driver sign, I'd buy this again, for real. Like this is a nice looking set. It's got good graphics. It's nice size. Like it's probably, what, 10 inches by six or seven inches. It doesn't take up a lot of room at all, but it has a lot of play space. There's parking for, I mean, you can stack what cars three high right there. At least you can park a couple more in. You have actual car parking over here. Um, you can kind of put it on a mat. You can do a lot of things with this set. So, okay, we'll put that off to the side and then we will open up the scrapyard set. So I'm excited. I didn't even see this one back in the day. Like this is, would have been one if I saw it back in the stores in 1998, I would have been like, mom, mom, can we please buy this? Buy me a Hot Wheel, please buy me this matchbox. Like I for sure would have wanted this one. Anything junkyard is cool to me. It will always be cool. Okay. There we go. So one thing, interesting thing to note is um, this is the older two-piece plastic design. So they almost have like covers for them, which is cool because then if you didn't want to keep the case, you could just keep this and you could like put this in your bin. That way the cars wouldn't get messed up. But um, one thing to note is that they actually put a rubber band around this, um, like, what is this? What do you call this? Does it, does it have a name? Um... No, I just got, I, I guess I called a boom truck, um, but they put a rubber band around it so it wouldn't move, which is, I mean, I don't know how it would move anyways, because it has no room to move, but it's nice that they did that extra quality back in the day. Okay. So we'll look at this and I will read the bottom of them. So this is a metal on metal. This is a metal body, metal chassis, um, car, the breakdown van, 1985. It's got those retro wheels. Oh, look at that, man. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so rad. I had this car when I think I had an orange version, but I don't remember it doing that. So you're getting a metal on metal with a double moving part. My gosh, where did this go? <laughs> like Cars now, we need so much more of this. Look how cool that is. And check that out. The window actually has like cracked tampos on it. You see that? Like, that is so cool. The aging on, like, the boom here. I love that. Look at that. That is so cool. It's so simple, yet so nice. And it has the little light, red lights on it that are a piece of the window. But this is supposed to be a Chevy. Probably a late 70s, 79, 78, maybe even an 80 Chevy van. That's been turned into a uh, tow truck. But that is so cool. 
They even did the, uh, like, age wearing on the bed. That is awesome. I can't believe this is metal on metal either. That is so cool. It rolls. It doesn't roll very well, but I'll take it. It doesn't matter. So this is a plastic chassis. Look at that. They put the scale on the bottom. 190. Made in China. Okay, let's take this off. Again, this has been on there for 20 years. Is it going to take any paint off? Uh, no, probably because it was loose. There you can see a little... Um, remnant of it but definitely right there so that's just a problem you'll have with these there's nothing you can do about it um on some 100 percent hot wheels cars i've seen people like really take some time and do it and i've seen them um come up with better results than just straight up like ripping them off uh, but that was already missing so there's not much i could have done on that one but it kind of matches the uh kind of broken down look but this is pretty cool a lot of detail on this. Mobile crane. Okay, 1984. Wild. Okay, so this should move up, right? Let me get this hook out of the front bumper. Look at that. Articulating, and it moves in and out. <laughs> Look at the paint. It was definitely painted while it was in there. <laughs> but that's so cool. Imagine getting that for a dollar right now. Does this turn too? Of course it does. Look at that. My gosh. The good old days. These old cars, man, I tell you what, the new castings are good. There are some moving parts, but this is kind of next level. Just the paint, the triple moving parts. What a cool release. Seriously, that's awesome. And it all matches. So next up, the dump truck. This is a heavy casting. This is a plastic chassis with that one 140th scale. That is crazy to think about. But this is a pretty heavy truck too. This is metal. This whole dump bed is metal. This is metal. The only plastic is the little part of the T chassis right there. But this looks cool. This one's purple, so it matches a couple of the other ones instead of the first two. But man, look at that. It's got a little notch for the... So you can kind of slam it down on there without hurting the cab. And it kind of keeps it in place from going back and forth. But that is awesome. That's a heavy model, too. Very cool. I like that one. Okay, the hot rod. So this is a plastic chassis. This have a uh, this is one fifty a scale. I love that they used to put the scales on them, and that they weren't all one sixty four. They would just tell you that. Now it's just kind of whatever is whatever. But it's a nice casting. Look at those Goodyear Eagles. Those are the same wheels I believe they use on the NASCAR um, line or the Indy line back in the day too. Nice white letter Goodyears. Looks good. Those are are what are on um, early nineties NASCARs too. So, or stock cars, I know they're not NASCARs. Um, good engine casting, like this is a good looking, this is a mean looking car. It's got that patina on there, it's got the Matchbox Wrecking Yard, which actually kind of looks like the crane and setup of the Hot Wheels Car Crusher, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got the headers, painted like dirt. I mean, I like this. I like the patina-ing they did on that. That looks really mean. I might have to do some photo shoots of that one. It rolls really well. But obviously, as you can tell, <laughs> they're not scaled the same. Your uh, huge dump truck is um, almost smaller than your uh, Ford there. All right, the last one, the Dodge Dakota. This is such a cool casting. I love this casting. I had it when I was little. It has the suspension, which is the fun, funnest. I know that's more fun um, way to play. I think these are the best. Like, Majorettes have these still... Uh, the pink slips, which I need to do a video on, but the older Matchbox. Like, Hot Wheels, they were mostly, um, if they weren't red lines, like back in the actual red line era, they have, like, that stiff suspension. So you can't, like, jump on and, and kind of do, like, tricks with them. Um, but these you always could. So there, it's got, again, more patina. It's got the, like, what do you call that? Like, primer spots. It's got the Matchbox. So that is a tow truck, it looks like, right? It looks like a dually tow truck, which I couldn't really tell what it was, but the black background on this one... You can see it. it's got the nice dodge on the tailgate. It's got the roll bar with the lights. Man, what a cool casting. 163. So we're close. The closest we got uh, to 164 scale. Dodge Dakota, 1987. Man, what a slick casting. That looks so good. And I love that it's in black. Like just, oh, look at that. I mean, look at that suspension. So fun to play with. Okay. All right, so let's see. I don't know which one would be the best to crush. I really don't want to crush oh, uh, the Dakota. Let's see, will this fit in there? Okay, I think it will. So you pick your car up like this. Grab it with the, uh, 
with the claws, or maybe we can, can we extend it out? There you go. Let me see if I can, okay. Awkwardly doing this on video. Grab it through here, come up, dump it in the slot, put this down so you can see it. It's like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and push it. it. It will go in there sideways, I think. So you go like this, push it down. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna fit? Boom. Oh, it didn't fit. Ah, oh, probably should have started with a smaller one. Okay, let's see. Let's do this NASCAR. I have this NASCAR sitting here. I think that one will fit. So let's go ahead and crush this. The Hail Melon Ross Chastain car. Boom. There you go. And it's gone. And it is. Got this nice little cube out of the deal. And then you come back here. And the car is hidden, which is the cool part. You don't even know where the car went. And there it is in there. So got a working car crusher. The working crane. The working grabber arms. The awesome little uh, like cubed metal part. I'm going to put that back in there for the next time I play with it. Got this awesome little set. Put your Dodge Dakota up here. You can park the car up here. You can put your other junk cars back here. I mean, there's just so much room to play. Put your crane one over here, your dump truck, dumping stuff in there. I mean, it's just so cool. This is like these two, and they're differently colored. Like I know the uh, the set actually looks better, like in better condition than the cars, but these go together so well. I love this tow truck. This is so cool. So if you like these, let me know because this was really fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed looking at these cars and kind of um, rediscovering some of the cars I had when I was a kid. These are cool. I love this playset. This is going to be like a centerpiece for me now because I really like it. And these uh, scrapyard cars go along really well with it. So man i like this set so let me know if you have this set if you have these scrapyard cars if you like these vintage play sets definitely let me know in the comments because i'm a huge fan of this one um on the back the other sets from this line do not look as realistic so that is like a um, car dealership which is really small i don't like that one as much and i think that's a mechanic shop and then you have a, I think that's an alligator shooting a boat out, which is totally like, that's on par with like what we have from them today. So that one's not too bad. Just a little bit of an odd shape to it. Uh, but I like this set because it's flat. It sits on flat, like it's it's like you're driving up to an actual scrap yard. So cool. Well, I really appreciate you watching. This is Sam 64 Wheels. That was the 2005 Hot Wheels Car Crusher in the 1998 matchbox scrap yard five pack so this was a really cool five pack huge fan of this i love this set this was a great video i really enjoyed this i hope you did too um i will link more hot wheels matchbox stuff like vintage stuff that i've done i haven't done too much of it, but i will link the videos down in the description if you want to check them out and then all my other videos are linked down in the description too so i really appreciate you watching i have a ton more stuff coming up again if you like these vintage sets and five packs let me know in the comments below that way you can get some more of them or just pull some more out of my collection and start unboxing them because this is really fun these are awesome so appreciate you watching i will see you guys in the next one bye